The Philippines is a vast archipelago of 7,000 islands, spread out like a string of vibrant jewels in the blue waters of the Asian Pacific. I live in a small island of Mindoro. Uh, it's a beautiful island. It's a paradise for us. It is an agricultural province. We are self-reliant, we produce our food, and it's also a home to rich biodiversity. Father Edu Garrigas, a Catholic priest, was motivated by his religious faith to help the indigenous people here retain their land rights. This is a challenge for the church to give voice to the voiceless. In 2001, a Norwegian mining company, Intex, began drilling exploration of this fragile area to develop a nickel mine. The massive project would produce several million tons of toxic waste and be the size of over 1,000 football fields. Mining has led to the destruction of uh, ancestral forests, ancestral waters, ancestral lands of the indigenous peoples. This is a very beautiful village and uh, we have, uh, still have our forest left. And the danger for the indigenous peoples is that the water source will be polluted and the water supply for the farmers' community will be threatened. The local government officials are with us in this campaign. However, the national government keep on pushing for this project because of investment of money. Government approval for the mine development to proceed unleashed a massive barrage of protests by Father Edu and his supporters. But it soon became clear that even more drastic measures were called for. We did a hunger strike. We camp outside the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and tell them that we are not going to eat anything. We are willing to offer our lives and we are willing to die unless they uh, give in to our demands. The hunger strike lasted an excruciating 11 days, but it worked. We stopped the mining operation right there and then because of our hunger strike. The government responded by revoking the mining permit. It was a remarkable victory for the movement. Father Edu will see Mindoro's natural environment, fisheries, agricultural, and indigenous heritage continue to be protected. We are not totally and absolutely against mining. We are trying to craft an alternative minerals management bill that will address the problem and protecting the environment not sacrificing it for the sake of a uh, short-term gain. For outstanding environmental achievement in islands and island nations, the 2012 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Father Edwin Garrigas, Mindoro Island, Philippines.